Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Mexican grilled corn. That's right, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. And I'll show you how to make what I consider the greatest corn on the cob recipe of all time. And the only problem with this recipe is it's so fantastically delicious, you're actually gonna be angry you did not know about this recipe sooner. It's that good, okay? So step one, and really the only thing you should prep ahead of time, would be our chili mayonnaise mixture. So in a bowl, I have a spoon of mayonnaise, the real stuff. To that, we're gonna add a little bit of freshly squeezed lime juice. At that point, we're gonna add a big spoon of ancho chili powder and a smaller spoon of smoked paprika. And then we're simply gonna take a whisk and mix that together. And by the way, please use fresh spices for this. If you bought your smoked paprika and ancho chili powder before you had a cell phone, you're gonna to wanna to throw those away and get some fresh stuff. All right, the flavor of spices, especially things like this, will fade with age, and it won't do this amazing recipe justice. All right, so use the good stuff. Once that's mixed up, you can just refrigerate that until needed. And then the other thing you wanna prep ahead would be some melted butter. And of course, you could do it in the microwave. I'm gonna do mine in direct sunlight. I think it tastes much better that way. All right, so we're set on the mayo and the butter. Next up, we're gonna prep our corn, and all I'm gonna do is boil it in salted water for five minutes. Now, traditionally, I believe these are grilled in the husks, but I didn't feel like messing with that besides I already shucked the corn at the supermarket. So like I said, I'm gonna boil that for five minutes in salted water. And by the way, you farmers, can you answer this for me? And you can see as I pull this out here, some of the kernels turned a rusty color. Here, let me turn this one around so you can see what I'm talking about. Why is that? Please, farmers, I need an answer. Since we're gonna grill this, I don't think it matters, but I'm just curious. But anyway, we do wanna pre-cook our corn a bit before we hit the grill, which is our next stop. So I'm heading out back. I'm gonna place this on a hot charcoal grill. And yes, of course you could use a gas grill for this, but I really think the smokiness from the charcoal adds a lot to it. And by the way, the reason they're rolling, I had them perpendicular to the grates. Everybody knows you have to put the corn going the same direction as the grates or they will roll. So I fixed it. But bottom line, just keep turning it on the grill until it's as done as you want. Now, some people just barely want a little bit of golden brown on there. Other people like it almost completely charred. But for me, I like it somewhere in the middle, as I do with most things. All right, so I don't want it too black, but I do want some very nice caramelization. It's really going to sweeten that corn up. And of course, add that little bit of smokiness, which I think adds so much to this. So I'm going to pull that off. We're going to head back inside and onto that hot, smoky corn. We're going to brush our melted butter. And you're probably thinking, hey, I just eat it like that. It looks delicious. Well, you're right. But hold on. We're going to kick this up not one, but two notches. All right, so after you apply the butter, I want you to take your ancho lime mayonnaise and brush it on. And not just a little. We want complete coverage. All right, so brush that on shamelessly until it's completely coated with a nice thick layer. And then the best part, the grating of the Mexican cheese. So we're using a white cheese called cotilla. And you can read about that on the blog, but it is a very mild cheese. It sort of tastes like an undersalted, slightly drier feta, which may not be the most delicious sounding description, but trust me, with this combination, it is unbelievable. So we're gonna grate that over generously. If you want, you can turn those over and do the other side. Although I cheat, I eat one side and then turn it over and grate it on the other fresh, but that's up to you. And if you can't find that, you'll see that Parmesan is a very common substitute. Although if it's me, I probably would go with feta although that is much saltier, but Parmesan and feta will work in a pinch. Having said that, most of the big fancy supermarkets will carry cotilla cheese, so check it out. And other than garnishing with a few wedges of lime, that gorgeous plate of corn is done. Look at that. You may never do grilled corn any other way. It's that delicious. The way that mild, subtly salty cheese works with that ancho lime mayonnaise, along with that buttery, smoky corn, it is just a magnificent combination of flavors. It's just one of the world's great corn recipes. And I have to say, I never film at this hour of the day because of the way the sunlight goes through our neighbor's trees, but here it kind of works. Plus, I didn't notice till I already started editing. But anyway, crazy lighting aside, this was perfect. Or as they say in Mexico, perfecto. No, I don't speak Spanish, but I am fluent in like 20 words. Perfecto being uno of them. So anyway, very simple, very easy. You can prep your mayo and corn ahead of time and then just grill and eat when you're ready. So I really, really, really hope you give this one a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.